Hello everyone, this is Nick of YB Gaming, here with a short review of the 1TB Xbox One Elite console. Now, I won't be focusing on the Elite controller in this episode, as I want to feature it in its own in-depth video review. As for the console itself, I just wanted to go over the minute physical changes, as well as its SSHD technology and how that affects performance. Now, there are a few physical differences between the Elite Xbox One and the original Xbox One. The original Xbox One had glossy components along the top, and this one, like other more recent models, has a matte finish. And additionally, the area around the disc slot now has a brushed look instead of shiny chrome. Otherwise, the console is nearly identical, containing all of the same ports as the original Xbox One. Tech-wise, the Elite Xbox One's internal drive is not only 1TB in size, but it is also considered an SSHD, or hybrid drive. This means that while most of the storage on the drive is still a traditional hard drive, both the part of the drive where the OS is stored and the cache are solid state, which is significantly faster than traditional HDDs. To put it simply, the cache is the part of the drive that stores the data you use most often. So therefore, by including an SSD for the OS and the cache, operations such as system navigation, boot, and load time should all be increased. Microsoft claims that a cold boot time is 20% faster. They also say that games load up to 20% faster. Unfortunately, game install times haven't improved much at all because they are installed on the hard drive, which is sadly still 5400 RPMs, which is pretty bad and slow by today's standards. In my own experience, I do find system response is a little snappier and I appreciate the extra internal storage. That said, if you were thinking of buying this new console to replace your current Xbox One based on it having the SSHD alone, I'd say you're better off saving your money. Where the real value of the Elite Bundle lies is in the Elite Controller, which I'll be doing an entire video on, like I said, right here on YB Gaming very soon. If you can sell your old Xbox for a decent price, plan on getting the Elite Controller anyway, and wouldn't mind having a little more, faster storage, then I would say the Elite console is worth buying. If you don't have an Xbox One already, then the Elite Xbox One should definitely be on your shopping list. It does everything right that the original Xbox One did, and only makes it better. For that, I give it a 5 on 5. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave it a like down below and tell us what you thought in the comments. And as always, subscribe for more great content just like this, including that Elite Controller review coming very soon. Thanks for watching YB Gaming. Bye!